Yo, what is up guys? Ultra Balls back with another SPL game. Today we have a UU game between Pack and Manipulative. Um, I'm not sure if this is week 1 or week 2 SPL. I've been sitting on this a while. Doc sent it to me. I just haven't had time to record it yet. So, yeah, I think this actually might be week 1. But um, if we have time, we'll get into the teams, uh, depending on how quickly they pick their lead. Uh, they do pick their leads. We'll get into more of the sets as the game progresses, I guess. But um, Manipula Manipulative leads up with Scizor, which is like a huge threat for Pack's, for Pack's team. Like, holy cow. Um, if it's SD, the only thing, like, only thing stopping SD Sizz is really, like, his own Scizor, which isn't, like, ideal by any means. And I guess the Starmie, but the problem is, like, if Starmie's defensive, it can't, like, do much except for Skullburn Fish. And if it's offensive, it could get chipped down over time. But either way, like, the Starmie can't switch in directly to the Scizor. So, I don't know, Pack will go maybe into his own Scizor here or something. A manipulative is probably just going to U-turn. Uh, Crook could also i guess because the scissors intimidated could just get up rocks oh is it z ground does it kill damn all right so much for being a threat <laughs> all right well so the 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 big threat is now dead so or, or, i don't want to say dead it, pokemon faint they don't die right so so it, it fainted um yeah i guess like that was a great turn to go for z ground if you have it if it was like a bulky sd scissor i doubt that that ko'd um, it was probably some sort of offensive scissor, but don't quote me on that because I don't know for sure. You don't see, like, Kirk isn't as common as what it was before. Um, it's still a pretty good mon, but, like, at the beginning of of Sun Moon, Kirk was one of the best UU mons. Now it's, like, it's average, I guess. Okay, it's, it's okay. Um, but, yeah, that was a good play by Pack, getting that out of the way immediately because, yeah, like I said, it was, that would, if it was SD, that would have been a huge problem. Even Bandit's a problem because he doesn't really have proper switch-ins at all to band scissor. Seismato comes out, so now Crook could get up, they could exchange rocks, or Crook, uh, seeing that it's Z-move, a lot of the Z-move Crooks are, like, taunt. Uh, he just knocks off, crits, does a billion, as we see, as we see rocks come out from manipulative, but, but this thing, having its leftovers knocked, it means it's, like, a non-factor for the rest of the game, it can't do anything. Um, yeah, I think, like, I was gonna say, the, the, like, Pat could have taunted there, but I guess knocking off is better for him. Um, the other thing that, like, cause normally I guess with Z-Move you would see with Crook would be like Z-Move, Crunch or Pursuit, and then Rocks and Taunt, so, or I'm sorry, not Crunch, Knock Off or Pursuit, and then, like, Taunt Rocks, so, um, he could have Taunted there, but I guess knocking off the Seismitoad is better in the long run. We go hard, Starmie on the Scald, uh, and I would assume cause, like, well, I was gonna say cause the Crook with Z-Move, this might be like the, this might be like the, def well, I don't want to call it defensive cause, but you know, like max HP utility kind of like in or SOU, so you'd have like recover scald, rapid spin and either toxic, psychic, um, thunder wave, reflect type, but the fact that, uh, we don't see leftovers means it's probably not, it's probably like life orb or something like that, and, um, manipulative has no good switch into that at all. I guess Pat could go for skull or for rapid spin here. Um, I probably would just spin because uh, ma well, manipulative doesn't have great switch ins anyway. I guess like he could go. You could go manetric on the spin. The problem is like if this is analytic Starmie, uh, you're gonna like die to a move. So I don't think that's worth it um, because manetric could put in work too. Because Pat doesn't have any like doesn't have proper switch ins to manetric either. I got like Amoongus could pivot in, but if it's overheat. It doesn't appreciate Manetric at all. Uh, that's for sure. Uh, so yeah, I think yeah, Manipulative's thinking this play through. I guess his play here is to sack the Seismic Toad now that it's been knocked. Or he goes hard Latias on Psychic. Um, that works too. That's why I think Peck should have just spun, probably. But getting off a nice uh, chunk on the Lottie is that's obviously appreciated as well. Uh, unfortunately, there was a crit. I'm assuming the Latias is Scarf because... Um, well, I want to talk now a little bit about Manipulative Steam. Because he has a Salazzle, which is really cool. Um, Salazzle's good and it, It's good in UU. Not as good as it is in RU, but it's a solid mon. doesn't see that much usage, but it's really cool. Uh, the only set you would ever run, though, in UU would be like Nasty Plot 3 attack. So, um, I would assume that this has to be the Scarfer because... Scizor was obviously not Scarf. Seismitoad, Klefki, Manetric are not Scarf. So this is probably Scarfed. Uh, so Pat could probably go into the Scizor. Um, Manipulative, if it ha if he has HP Fire, should go for it here. But I doubt, like on Scarf, Latias, HP Fire is not very common. It's usually Double Stab and then combination of like Trick, Defog, and Healing Wish. Um, 
but yeah, I think like Scizor's the best play, especially because look at look at Manipulative's team. There's a there's like a Manetric, a Seismitotus, a Lazzle. Like Scizor's not putting in work regardless. So I feel like Pack's best play is just to throw that into an attack, and um, if it's banded, potentially pursue trap the Lottie. Um, but yeah, I just think like in general going going Scizor is fine because even if it does have HP fire, it's not the end of the world because then it wasn't beating anything anyway. See the double into into Klefki. Um, I guess kind of covering the Scizor if this has HP Fire, which a lot of Klefkies will run nowadays. Uh, not wanting to get this thing Pursuit Trapped, if it is Banded Scizor on pack side, it will most likely have Pursuit, so uh, good play not get letting that get Pursuit Trapped. I want to talk a little bit about the Salazzle though, right? So, Salazzle, oh, another crit! What is that, like three crits in six turns? Dude, come on! Like, this one got 2k on anyway though, so I guess like it's not the biggest deal, but... Now there's no, this thing doesn't have any, <laughs> this thing's like pretty much dead, which sucks. Um, but yeah, uh, Manipulative Salazzle could be a problem, right? Because the only switch in that pack has to that is um, is Aerodactyl. The problem is, uh, if with rocks, in, with rocks up, Aerodactyl could probably only switch in one time. And other than that, it looks like Salazzle will kill like everything. So uh, definitely something to keep your eye on uh, is the Salazzle in the back. Uh, because like I said, every time it comes, like the Aerodactyl switch in one time, and then after that, it should get a kill every time it comes in, as long as the hazards stay up. So for that reason, like Pack, and I don't know what Pack's best move is here. I guess it's just Bullet Punch again. But if I'm manipulative, I'm just probably going hard into probably Toad because um, based on that damage, it's definitely Bandit Scizor. I'm assuming Toad will still eat two, and uh, without leftovers, it's not doing too much more this game. Yes, we do see Toad come out on the bullet punch. And now Manipulative will probably go for the move. If Manipulative has Earth Power or Knock Off, probably go for that move because you don't want to let the Starmie be able to come in on Scald and spin. But I think the Starmie is at, if I want to, if I remember, I think it's at like 50 or something. Or six, 60, but after Rocks and Spikes, it's not going to be able to, especially because it's offensive Starmie, it's not, wouldn't take that. It would have died to that Earth Power, so yeah. Um, Spore on the Seismitoad, using this as sack fodder for the sleep, which I agree with. Uh, I think Pack could have probably gigged there, because I don't think he was going to risk something else getting slept, but it's whatever. Fire double into Scizor on the Latias. I like that play a lot. Uh, on Manipulative side, I think going hard into Salazzle would have been a better play, because it covers this double, and obviously, like, Amoongus is not going to be able to cut, touch Salazzle anyway, so I think Salazzle was the play there, not, not, or not Latias. Because now this is going to get trapped because this is Bandit Sizz. Um, yeah, I guess you just click Pursuit if you're pack. You could also click Bullet Punch because that kind of gets a... No, I mean, Bullet Punch doesn't get a kill because the Salazzle and the Manetric are there. The problem is, like, Salazzle's frail as hell and Manetric's not Mega Evolved yet, so it's also frail and you don't get to Intimidate. So either way, like, a Bullet Punch will also decimate uh, his team. Uh, so I guess if you're pack, you could just click Bullet Punch, not risk HP Fire. Uh, but Pursuit is definitely another option here. We do just see the Bandit Bullet Punch kill the Latias. Uh, like I said, I agree with that play too because, uh, well, first of all, Manipulative is probably thinking that you're clicking Pursuit, so he's so he's not going to switch out anyway. But even if he did switch out, like what what's coming in? Like Salazzle is going to take like 40 probably from that, and and so would Main would take like a lot, probably around the same. So Bullet Punch is free. Uh, Salazzle comes out. I think you just click Fire Blast. And like I said, like what's Pack going to do? Maybe go into uh, Aerodactyl, but after taking one Fire Blast, I won't be able to switch into the Salazzle again, so I think you just Fire Blast here. And obviously, you're, you outspeed the, the Starmie, so if Starmie comes in, you just click Poison Move the next turn. So, you know, Mungus comes out on the sack, and uh, I, whatever this is, I don't I don't agree with going for the Z move there. Uh, yeah, because now Aerodactyl comes out, and um, that's why, like, maybe... Z move was trying to catch the arrow, but there's no way you would go hard arrow. That'd be such a oh game over. G G G G G G. Everyone spam GGs in the chat. Um, I don't agree with. Well, first of all, sub arrow is super cool. I don't agree with going um, for the Z move there because like I Pack would never risk the Aerodactyl there. Uh, so I think you were safe just fire blasting because like nothing else switched into that. Um. But yeah, either way, I think it's game over now because of the substitute, which you don't see. Like, that's not common by any means. Uh, that's broken, though. Uh, the one saving grace for Manipulative is I don't think that it has... Um, I don't think that Pack has Earthquake. Otherwise, he would have went for it on the Seismitoad because it would have killed. 
Um, so it's probably Ice Fang, Double Stab would be my guess. So still has to hit some stone edges, but as long as the edges connect, it should be game over because uh, what Manipulative will do here is uh, Mega and Volt Switch. The problem is, like, you don't get the Intimidate off on the Aerodactyl, so it's still going to do, like, a ridiculous amount to the main. It should live, but, yeah, barely. And we Volt out. But now there's no play. What's your play? Go into, go into your 20% Clef Key and die? Um... Or go into Salazzle and pray to dodge. And this is why I think that um, I think that Manipulative shouldn't have used the Z. Because he would actually win here, I think. If like if the Z, if Manipulative didn't waste the Z and Aerodactyl misses the Stone Edge. But never mind. Didn't miss it. <laughs> if he missed the Stone Edge, I don't think. like He wouldn't be able to kill the Aerodactyl uh, from this range with just like a Fire Blast. So he should have saved the Z. Because it actually could have came in handy here. Because if he dodged that Edge and killed Arrow with the Z move, I think Salazzle could have just won. Um, yeah, I think it might have just won. It actually, been, that would have been crazy. Come from behind Salazzle win, but uh, we don't see that. Um, we see, alright, so I'm going to stop. I'm going to go back because I want to talk about this game a little bit because they played pretty fast. And then we'll look at the score afterwards. But, um, so, yeah, and, like, for manipulative... Definitely, like I said, I didn't necessarily agree with Z-moving. In the end, it doesn't matter, but it could have mattered if that Stone Edge missed. Um, on Pack side, he was able to, like, I not really control the hazards, but he put a lot of offensive pressure on Manipulative, so um, the Ar Arrow was able to put in so much work, though. That was cool to see. I like, I mean, Arrow is king of UU for two gens, right? So, a really good Mon. Um, yeah, not much else to say about this game. Pack played it really solidly. I thought Sub Arrow was super cool. I mean, you caused so many switches. The, the only issue I have with Sub Arrow is that most of the time you'll sub, and they'll go into something that walls you anyway, so it doesn't matter that you subbed, because you, you can't really do much damage back. Um, but in this in this game, it worked like to perfection. To perfection. Well, also, the thing I wanted to say about Salazzle is, like, in RU Sum, like, you could run HP Ice, because it deals with like um, Flygon and Gliscor or Gliscor Gligar better, but most of the time, on, almost exclusively, especially in you, you'll see HP Grass because it deals with like Quagsire, Swampert, Seismitoad, uh, and those things are more important, especially like Quagsire in the stall matchup because uh, Salazzle could break you use stall like pretty well because even Blissey isn't the greatest switch, and if you nasty plot up a couple times, the Z move is just going to decimate you, right? So um, most of the time, like. The Salazzle would be HP Grass, not HP Ice. So that's why I said save the Z-move potentially for this if Edge would miss. But in the end, it didn't matter. The Edge hit anyway. So we're going to fast forward now to... Where's this? All right, so we have Doc here giving us the nice uh, score screen. Um, so Pack was on the Raiders, and they won. So at this point of the week, they're up 4-2. But like I said, I think this is week one. So that like you guys, if you guys care enough, you'll probably already know who won this week for this uh, game anyway. So... Um, yeah, I guess that's going to do it for us, seeing that the recording ended. Uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and until next time, Ultra Balls out. Peace.